Hey everyone, welcome to Speedway Motors Tech Talk. My name is Joe and Greg is here to tell us about a big rule change that's gonna affect 410 Sprint cars next year. Yes, as of January 23, if you run with the World of Outlaws, the All-Stars, Knoxville, or many other tracks, they're gonna require you to have a onboard fire system for the first time. Right now, there are three or four systems that are approved. You have to have a SFI certified 17.3. That is the only rule requirement that there is. You can put this bottle anywhere in the car you want. You can put it in any position that you want, but you have to have an onboard system. We have two systems here today, and they're both from Fire Bottle. One has a remote line that you could take at and put it under the right side of the seat and then run the remote line up to the torque tube hoop or the bottom of the seat. Then part of the rule requires that on the left side of the car you have a manual discharge, which you'll have a second nozzle for that. The kit will come with two nozzles plus the automatic nozzle. Rules require one nozzle be automatic. And this one's got a protective cover, which you'll want to use all the time because there's a little glass inside here that will break at 170 degrees. Or if you take it to the car wash and hit it with the pressure washer, you're going to break it and discharge it. Then you're going to refill the bottle. So you want to make sure you use this rubber protector anytime you're not racing. The other way that uh, it works is you have your manual release and that plumps out of the top and you can be remote with one nozzle you get your line you get your hose so you have your your automatic discharge which is going to go off if there's something's on fire where do you mount your manual discharge the manual line the cable has to be on the left side of the driver's compartment the driver's compartment is, is so small in a sprint car that you might run your manual above the fuel pump, or you could just put a union and screw it in here and mount your other nozzle right here with it. So you would have, it's basically two separate systems. You have an automatic system or you have a manual system. Once either one of them goes off, it's done and you'll have to send the bottle back in to get refilled. So let's say one way or the other, you have activated the system and it goes off, what happens? It has to discharge within a few seconds. It has to discharge the entire five pounds of chemical that's in here. And this product is actually heavier than air. It goes down towards the fire and it takes all the air away. And without air, fire can't burn. Even if it's methanol? Yes, even if it's methanol. And the thing about methanol is you don't see it burn. Methanol burns clear. If it's got oil, you'll see flames, you'll see color, but it's just straight methanol. It does not show any color. The system will come with a nice heavy duty bracket. These can clamp around the frame or you can put a tab and bolt them directly on. Those are the things that Outlaws will look at, they're gonna make sure that it's full and then it's mounted sturdy, it's got an automatic and it's got a manual release. So once the bottle has been discharged, then what do you have to do? Before you can race again, you'll have to take the top off of it. We'll try not to drop it here, but uh, you take the top off and you either replace the bottle, send it in, to be uh, refilled and put a fresh bottle in and you're ready to go. So probably a good idea to carry a spare in the trailer. Yes, carry a spare in the trailer. And the nice thing about the fire bottle, it doesn't leave any residue. It's an easy cleanup. So really all the rules care about is that it's the proper SFI rating, that the release is on the left side of the cockpit. It doesn't matter how you mount this thing, right? Correct. You can put the fire bottle under the seat in front of the motor plate, as long as you have your automatic in the cockpit and your manual release, sturdy mounting, 
The outlaws are okay with any system as long as it's the SFI 17.3. So I guess that about does it. Big change to the rules. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call and thanks for watching.